So today I'm going to talk to you. There's this huge, I don't know what, there's this epidemic going on where girls on the East Coast, when I'm feature dancing, have been talking about this cup that they put in their pussy for when they're on the rag. And apparently it collects your blood um, like a plastic Dixie cup for your badge. So today I'm going to do a product review. I got one in the mail. <laughs> this is, I don't know what brand I got because it's in Spanish, but this is the brand that I got today. So I figure rather than just talking about it, we could just kind of go throughout the day and see what happens right now. So this is the cup. Adventure. Lucky for you, I'm on the rag, so I get to try this out. Let's see. It's taped shut, which scares me. Maybe it like has been used already. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. It comes with this tape is stuck in my finger. This little carrying case, so people don't know you're bleeding out of your holes. Oh, you could put blow in it or ecstasy or other drugs and then put that up there. Probably a bad idea. I didn't tell you to do that. Um, there's directions in case you don't... My phone is ringing. <laughs> directions! Did you like my Harry Potter ringtone? It's pretty sweet. So it comes with <laughs> 125 page book of directions in case you don't know how to put something in your hole. There you go, you can learn. <laughs> you can read it on a plane. Okay, so it comes in a bag, which makes me think it's sterile. Ah! It has a nipple. <laughs> Darwin isn't into the idea. So I'm gonna wash it because it probably has Chinese slave labor camp all over it. Always wash things before you put it in your vagina. Okay, so it like, if you've ever had like a plastic, shut up! If you've ever had a plastic like pasta strainer, so it closes like this, so you could put it in your drug purse, and then it opens to this scenario, and I guess, I'm not gonna even read the directions. I'm just gonna go balls out. I guess you put it in like this, and then it goes like this inside of you, and then it catches all your blood, and then you can have a little tea party. I'm really scared. It's not like the softest, so I don't know. This thing's freaking me out. I think this is gonna like, okay. Don't film my vagina, because this is on YouTube. Good thing I'm bleeding. <laughs> I don't know how to put it in. I should probably read the directions. You have to like squeeze it. Okay. There's a no spill rim. <laughs> Awkward. Ah! Okay. It kind of sounds like an alien sci-fi movie when you put it in. Ow. It's like sideways. Ow! Okay. <laughs> okay, I think it's in. <laughs> That's what she said. Ew, do you hear that? This is disgusting. Okay, I think I'm good. It's like not open. Okay. It's pretty snug, which makes me feel good. Makes me feel like I have a tight pussy. There's like this weird little nub. I think the nub is so you can grab it to pull it back out. Okay. Do I have blood on my hands? My hands are bloody, so that's not really sexy. Okay. Adventure! So, it's like weird. It kind of feels like if you put a Dixie cup inside you. Hey, you also can use it as a shot glass if you're at parties. Okay, let's see. Adventure! I'm driving! I'm not texting and driving, just driving. Being good. So, it feels good. I'm worried that it's like a cup and if it's on its side and I'm sitting, that it's gonna like spill out the side or something, but let me check. We're clean! A little bit wet. A little bit 
and sweet, but clean, so I don't know. Keep it posted. Captain's log. It's hour two. I have had this cup in me and it has not run it over yet. Um, I just had lunch and all is good. Blood is not dripping down my leg, as you can see. So I'm gonna go get some groceries now and hopefully I don't bleed everywhere. And it's also kind of turning me on because it kind of feels like Benoit balls. Is that weird? Okay, goodbye. Captain's log. Got home from lunch. Got home from grocery shopping. Still, let's see. We're still good. No leakage. Still good. Hour three. Keep it going, people. <laughs> and it's surprisingly getting more comfortable. So I don't know what that's about. So there you have it. I'm in my jammies. So there's my review of the plastic Dixie cup. I guess some people call it a lily cup. I don't know. Any plastic cup will do. Except for like one of those college red cups. Okay, so all in all, it didn't leak, which is pretty awesome. And I was totally expecting it to leak and it didn't leak for the most part. But the gross thing is, is that, let me show you. Show you. Well, I won't show you, but you know. So here's what happened. So I go through the day, like three, four hours, everything is fine, no leaks, right? <laughs> so it's in my vagina. Now I have to get it out. So I was sitting on the toilet, wondering, do I squeeze it? Because then all the blood comes out. Do I just pull it? Because then it pops out and it blood just sprays everywhere. So I had to like shimmy it out. And then you have this vile cup of period blood that you're like coming face to face with. And then it's like, Ugh. and then you have to hold the cup, finish peeing and wiping, take the cup to the sink, clean it out. And it's just like this horrific event, which is like not very sexy. So that's on the internet. <laughs> so that was my least favorite part because you have to clean it and you have to deal with the fact that you, the blood situation and all of that. So all in all, I think I'm going to pass on the lily cup and, you know, stay traditional. Stick a sponge up there. I don't know. Good luck. But if you want to try it, it's all yours, baby. Here you go. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.